Uh, g'day everyone, this is my uh, first video from my new channel. Uh, so, what's happening in the shed? Um, this is a problem I've run into a few times and I just thought I'd um, tell you all how I get around this when I need a, a nut welded inside some square or um, rectangular hollow section and it's not right at the end where I can get the welder onto it. And for example, in this situation, there's no way I can get a MIG torch in there to weld a nut in so I'm just about ready to weld here here's what I actually do I ahead of time weld a, a nut onto some thin stock here this is 25 by 3 mil flat bar I've pre-drilled it to 11 mils and it's an M10 flange nut I like flange nuts because they give you that extra bit of um, meat to weld to without risking um, burning into the threads I, I just like the way they mount on there so um, all I really do then is I drill three holes in the um, RHS here main one obviously for the bolt itself to go into and then two holes here to plug weld so all I'm doing is sliding this inside in the actual tube and I'm actually screwing the bolt in and it's pressing up and holding the piece up against here then all I have to do is twist it just to align it and make sure I've got it centered in the hole so that the thread's not rubbing against the side of the hole at all. And uh, then I'll just plug weld it from here. Plug weld, plug weld, and then grind them flat, and there's your thing. And I imagine it, you could do it on a much longer piece. You'd just have to work out more creative ways to slide the, this piece right up, up the tube. And once you've got it roughly located, you can use a bolt to screw it down, which will, obviously the bolt will hit the bottom of the tube and push the plate up. So there you have it, uh, I've done the plug welds, I've used the angle grinder to grind the welds flat and then used um, a flap disc just to smooth everything off. So as you can see you get a nice smooth finish, you can see the nut down there, the flange nuts welded onto a piece of 25 by 3 mil flat bar and then I slid that along the tube and used the bolt and nut to uh, hold it on. I don't know if the camera can see inside the tube. It may not be able to. You can maybe just see it's in there there. Anyway, you'll have to trust me. There's not quite enough light there. But that's the finished result. So if someone finds that useful, um, that would be good. As I said, I'm no expert. That's just something I found that works for me. You've got some other ideas or, or better ones than that um, more than happy to uh, hear about them anyway thank you very much and uh, as always uh, thanks for watching